Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Did you grow up in a Lego house? Now, I don't mean a house built out of Lego. I mean, your parents bought you a ton of Lego. You probably had a Lego table, right? Or the Lego just kind of rested and stayed. You would build your little creations. Maybe your uh, brother or sister had their side and they would build their stuff and you had your side and you'd build your stuff. Yeah. Uh, I grew up in a Lego home and then my house turned into a Lego home, bought tons. We have so much Lego in our house, it's ridiculous. And now my kids are like, you know, teenagers. And of course, the Lego just, the Lego just sits there. Uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Today we're gonna look at Lego prediction. Uh, this is a parlor and stage effect from Adrian Cartala. Uh, if you don't know who Adrian is, uh, he's a magic champion out in Spain. You probably saw him on Penn and Tellers. He did a borrowed ring to shoelace effect. Um, there's a thumbnail out there. There's a couple thumbnail uh, thumbnails out there where it says magician removes clothes. So if you've seen the, the famous magician removes clothes uh, thumbnail, that's, that's Adrian, <laughs> okay? Uh, and it was his own clothes, by the way. It's his own clothes, by the way, that he takes off when Penn and Teller suggest that he has some sort of gimmickry under his clothes. Um, what is Lego prediction? Lego prediction is like a gallon plastic jug of Lego that's um, sitting out. And it's the old guess how many are inside trope. So seen this made with marbles, uh, seen this with, you know, jelly beans, right? And you have people throw out their guesses. You know, what, how many do you think are in this jar? Sometimes we uh, make those as contests for things like, hey, do you want to win this new bike? Uh, give us your number of how many jelly beans you think are in this jar. And the person who gets the closest wins the bike, right? Uh, this is done as a, well, I guess it's a prediction effect, uh, kind of, where you have the, the jar of Lego, right? And you tell your audience, there, there isn't 10,000 in here for sure. There's, no, there's not 10,000. <laughs> there's less than 10,000. But, you know, if you were going to guess, you know, one, two, or 3,000 or however many, what would be your guess? Okay. And you could, you could have the number given to you anyways. You could, you could have it given to you one number at a time. You could have one person just stand up and shout out the number, whatever it is. And then you, you say, yes, you're right. You are absolutely right. I have a piece of paper at the top of the jar that tells me what the number is. You screw off the lid and there's no palming, by the way, no palming. There's a piece of paper right there on top. You just, you can pick it up with your fingers and show it to them. And the number on the paper is the one your audience shouted out. It'll work every time. There's no force. There's no equivocate. It could literally be a different number in every performance. And uh, it's completely soft working. Let's talk about it. Let me read to you some of the bullet points from the ad copy. Uh, it says, the bucket is always in full view. No, no one approaches you. Nothing goes in or out. The spectators are free to name any number they want. The number is generated in real time. The number you create together appears to be a folded piece of paper that's sitting right in there in the jar. The explanation video is either in French or English, and you can perform this routine for adults or magic shows or kids. You could even perform it over Zoom. All right, so let's say you pay $293 to Stephen's Magic Emporium. What are you gonna get? Uh, you got a cardboard corrugated uh, box inside that. You're getting the gallon plastic uh, jar with the screw top lid. You're going to get approximately 1100 generic looking bricks, locking bricks. We'll call them locking bricks is what they'll call, we'll call them. Uh, they're, they're not, uh, they're not Lego brand Lego. All right. And you'll get all the secret gimmickry you need to do the trick. Is it what I thought? Yes, it is what I thought. Um, I've seen a couple of these tricks, uh, now. And, uh, when I saw Justin Willman live, he did a trick, uh, just like this. And when I was watching Justin Willman, in the back of my head, I was thinking, I bet you it's probably this. And so when I saw this effect, kind of had that same feeling. And I was like, I bet you it's, and, I, and it was, it was that. Which, you know, as a solution, I think it's very um, modern and it's very smart. 
Is it well made? Yes, it is very well made. Uh, all the props are professional looking. It will be nice and bright uh, on stage. The, the jar I got has very brightly colored Lego. The jar itself is large enough that as a, as a stage prop, I think it can be seen from the back. It telegraphs exactly what it is. And everything that's included is quality, would last you a good long time. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? The main video is an hour. All right, and uh, it was filmed in Spanish with subtitles. The other thing you're gonna notice right away when you start watching the tutorial is, the tutorial is not for the product that you purchased. So a while back, uh, Adrian released the same effect as a candies effect. So similar jar, fill it with candy, and then have the spectators guess candy, right? How many, how many, are, how many candies are in there? I would guess that because candy can, right, perish over time, it's a perishable, it's a food item. Uh, you'd be constantly replenishing the candy, I would assume. And so doing it as Lego means you can just put the Lego in the box and never have to worry about it ever again, right? You're not, you're not gonna go in, you're not gonna go in there looking for a, a square four. <laughs> you're just gonna leave the Lego in there and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say Lego. I should say locking bricks, <laughs> They're lock, locking bricks. Uh, you know, it, I think it's just gonna last, last longer. So you'll get the tutorial for the candies effect. My jar came prepared, ready to go, but the uh, tutorial shows how you could prepare the jar uh, yourself. There's a three minute performance video and there's a PDF uh, welcome intro. Then he does a studio performance with a spectator that's off camera. He'll show you how to do it with a assistant that's working backstage. And really that is the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to have an assistant who's either in the audience or who's backstage. He'll show you how to do it with your phone in your hand. And then he'll show you how to do it over Zoom. He'll talk to you about how to get the number using dice. And then he'll give you some other tips and suggestions at the end. We could talk about pocket space. We could talk about angles. We could talk about inspectability, but all of those really are for uh, close-up tricks, right? This is a parlor effect, so it doesn't really fit in your pocket. And as far as angles and inspectability, the audience will never come up on stage for this effect. You know, they're down there, you're up here. No one's gonna say, we'll dump out all those, you know, Lego bricks. That's, that's not gonna happen. Slice and difficulty, how hard is this? Uh, it's not hard at all, especially if you have assistants uh, working for you off stage right? Because they're the one that's going to do all the, the work. All you're going to do is just, you know, perform, open the screw top lid and remove the piece of paper. That's, that's all you're going to do. So you're going to be heavily reliant on the person backstage hearing the number, right? I, of course you could shout it out. You're also getting the ability to perform a routine on stage, professional routine, that is going to be easy, easy, easy to do. This is what you want when you do parlor effects, by the way. You want tricks that are gonna hit 100% of the time, never fail you, the spring's not gonna break, the trap door is not gonna get stuck, the rubber band's not gonna snap, right? You want something that they'll pull off professionally, seamlessly, and is magical, is memorable, right? And anything you can do that kills time, <laughs> right? Because you need to fill a 20 minute set or an 18 minute set, right? This is gonna take up five minutes-ish, uh, played out well. So it's a solid trick. It's a solid trick. And there's nothing in it besides the paper, right? That needs to be replaced. So it's not going to wear out over time. So this is a $295 investment that you're going to put into a parlor or stage act that people remember and uh, will deliver a strong effect, right? Yes. All right. So that's everything. That's everything for Lego prediction. Adrian Karatala. Uh, I hope I've introduced you to a trick that you didn't know anything about or answered questions about a trick maybe you were curious about. And if that's the case, you can always help me out. Hit like, hit sub, hit follow, mash all those buttons. That helps me out a lot. Uh, and I want to thank Steven's Magic Emporium for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, did you know there are over 300 videos and reviews that you've never even seen here at Magic Orthodoxy? It's true. And if you join the membership section today, you'll get unlimited access to that exclusive content. What are those videos? These would be the magic tricks that I buy 
with my own money. These are the tricks that I want, the tricks I am the most excited about. All you have to do is click the join button on your screen. And there are two exciting ways to join. For $2, you'll get access to eight extra videos a month, eight brand new videos a month. And for $5 a month, you'll get access to 12 new videos a month. Not to mention, you'll also be part of an exclusive community of almost 500 other magicians. And if you can't find the join button, I will put a link in the description of today's video. Thanks guys, bye.